Gospel according to John, the 10th chapter, verses 11 through 18. Jesus is speaking. He says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. But he who is a hired hand and not a shepherd, who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. So the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because he is a hired hand and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and am known by my own. Even as the Father knows me, so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep who are not of this fold. I must also bring them, and they will hear my voice. There will be one flock and one shepherd. Therefore my Father loves me, because I lay down my life that I may take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I received this command from my Father. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. Will you pray with me, please? My shepherd will supply my need. Jehovah is his name. In pastures fresh he makes me feed. Beside the living stream, he brings my wandering spirit back when I forsake his way and leads me for his mercy sake in paths of truth and grace when i walk through the shades of death thy presence is my stay a word of thy supporting breath takes all my fears away thy hand in sight of all my foes does still my table spread. Thine oil anoints my own to head, my cup with blessings overflows. The sure provisions of my God attends me all my days. Oh, may thy house be my abode and all my work be praise there would i find a settled rest while others go and come 
No more a stranger or a guest, but like a child at home. No more a stranger or a guest. But like a child at home. God, we praise you this day that you have claimed us as your children, that your love for us has no ending, and that you do search for us seeking us out as the good shepherd that you are. We thank you for all of those who have chosen to say yes to your calling. We praise you this day for calling each one of us by name, allowing us to know your voice as our shepherd, and helping us to draw together as your fold, your flock, to praise you and to worship you with our lives, not only as we worship here this day, but as we worship every day serving you. We ask that you bless us, Lord God, as we gather here this day, that as we go about the work of your kingdom, our lives will be filled with the joy of serving the good shepherd of life, the one who will guide us if we will only follow. We thank you this morning, Lord God, for so many who have given much of their lives to let your spirit use them in the work that you have for each of us. You have helped them, Lord God, to be faithful. You have, by the power of your Holy Spirit, made them strong, even in the midst of the storms of their lives. We ask that you bless all people here within the sound of my voice this day, for we are all on this pathway together, a path in which we follow the risen Christ, Help us to remember that as we follow and as we gather that we are one body, one shepherd in the name of Jesus. We pray this in his holy and most wonderful name. Amen. You and I are all gathered here for the purpose of being in worship toward the God who is the shepherd of all who love him. Where the shepherd dwells is where you all have chosen to be because you see he has told us that where two or three are gathered together in his name, he will be in our midst. And we are here to worship and to praise God for the ways that God uses our lives as his servants and allows our lives to reflect the love of Christ in all that we are and all that we do. And we want to truly honor all of you this day who have given so many years and so much love. And your families who are here gathered as well, your church family here, to thank you and to say that we bless you in God's name and pray for a long, long time yet of being able to serve the God that we love. But knowing that all of us have a time of going home, knowing that even as we return to God, we are there to pray for the church for those who are a part of God's continued work in, in, in this world, and we are a part of the great cloud of witnesses. So we will always be one in Jesus, always. The shepherd has called us here this day to be a part of the work of God's kingdom. We are called by one who wants to lead our lives. One of the temptations of us as humans is we often get ahead of the one who is the shepherd. We are out busy about many things, and sometimes, at least in my own life, I have found that all my busyness was not exactly what God had in mind for me, and God will quickly pull me back, as God has promised to do, bring me back into the fold and help me to follow where Jesus is leading to do the work that God has called me to do. I know that we can all attest to some time in our life when we have had to be rescued by the one who loves us, bringing us back into the fold of God's love. The shepherd that we 
treasure and that we today are celebrating as well as we celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday is one who has chosen to be a servant among us. In Jesus' coming, he did not come to be raised in a palace. He came born in a stable. He came to be a shepherd, one of the common people, an ordinary man, an ordinary person with divinity and power to change people's lives. Jesus came to model for us what it means to be one who cares for others, who looks after the needs of those who have need in this world for the physical care, the mental care, the emotional care that all of us in this life need. We know that we are called not just to take care of the people in our lives that are directly a part of our own family, but to care for our church family and to care for this world that God loves so much and all the people of need in it. And we thank you today because we know so many of you have taught Sunday school, you have sung in the choir, you have been ushers here in this church, you have chaired committees, you have served on boards, you have also been in mission work, your hands have been dirty, your hands have been involved, you have been a part of all the work of God's kingdom here. And today we know that the leader of all that we do, everything we are about as God's church, is Jesus Christ, our good shepherd. And he is here with us today, reminding us that in the love that God has for us, we will be knowing that God is present with us every moment of life, that we, as we have said in the Psalm 23, so beloved by so many of us, that God is our shepherd, the Lord walks with us, takes us through our lives, even through the valley of the shadow of death. And this shepherd is the one whom we serve today. Not only we, but all those who have come before us, all of those we remember today, those who have gone home already, and those who are near home even today. We know that God loves us all, but God loves this whole world. And Jesus has said that he has more than just this flock. And any time we think that we are the ones who decide who is a part of the kingdom and who is not, or who is a part of the fold of Christ and who is not, remember these words from the Gospel of John. There are other flocks. There are other sheep. I have other folds. There is one shepherd, and I would make you all one. Part of what it means to be servants of Christ and followers of the shepherd is to open our hearts, our minds, our lives, to all of those whom God brings into the world in which we live, be it here in the church or in our community, wherever we go, God will have opportunities for us to meet and to be a part of the message of love and the welcome home that Christ wants us to share with all people. I pray that we will all be about this good work, even as those who represent our Celebrating Life class today show us and a testimony of what it means to be faithful servants for many years, that one day many will be sitting in this same place to say, be told thank you for all that you have done and all that you have meant to so many people. May the blessing of Christ today, the good shepherd of the sheep, show us all the way home. And in the meantime, serve with all the joy in your heart, the abundant love of Christ flow through us. I'm going to ask us to close in a way today that might be a little different than normally, but ask you please to turn in your hymnal to number 137 in the front. We have heard this psalm beautifully read today, but I would like to close the sermon time by asking us all to read it together. And as we do this, I invite you to take the personal pronouns that are in this psalm and speak them with great emphasis so that it becomes your own statement about your knowing that you too have committed to being a servant of the Good Shepherd and that the Good Shepherd is walking and is with you in your life. Let us say this together. Again, we'll emphasize the personal pronouns. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. May we pray. Gracious God, hear the words of our mouths and make them true. Help us to truly lean upon you as the Savior of our lives, that all that we are and all that we are about will be a witness for you as our Good Shepherd, the one who brings all the folds that you have to one flock, one shepherd, one God of love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please stand as you are able as we sing our hymn number 381. Thank you. 